All right, we're doing this. If you want to see me rank my 12 quads for 2020, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup. Today is a monumental video. It is a video on my quad of the month for the past 12 months. It's all my quad of the month for 2020, and it's also ranking them from my favorite to my least favorite quad. So I'm not going to go from January to December. I'm actually going to go with uh, in 12th place, 11th place, 10th place, and tell you what uh, which quads were my favorites and why, and also which ones were not so favorite and why as well. Okay, I will try not to spend too, too much time on all of these, and I will post a few pictures here and there of some looks that I've done with the, the various quads as well, as I can based on what it is that I have um, available in my still shots uh, library that I can go and peruse. Speaking of looks, I am sporting a look uh, today that is the second look from quad number 12. Let me show you the quad. It is this one right here that is half colorful, half pretty neutral, and I really am enjoying it. I have these two in the crease, this one on the lower lash line, this one on the outer lid, and this one on the center to half or two thirds of the lid and on the brow bone. I really, really like these. These two are from Cleona Cosmetics. Uh, this one is called Butter from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Uh, that was the first collab with uh, Morphe, the white palette. And then this one is Dusk from Colored Rain. So quite a, an eclectic quad of uh, shadows. And a lot of these quads, I go into my single shadows and I concoct some different color stories that are from various brands, various finishes, uh, types of shadow. I like to mix it up and the quad of the month helps me discover color stories that I never would have thought to put on my eyes. Um, sometimes it's thematic for the time of year. Sometimes I'll do a Valentine's Day quad, a Christmas quad. That I did that last month, a quite a Christmas quad. Uh, and this one actually I would say is also a, a Christmas quad. It's quite nice. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm foretelling what I think of this quad when I say it's quite nice. Anyway, what I want to do is I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now of the quads from 1 to 12. So top left hand corner is going to be the first quad of the month going across the whole row and then the second row um, for actually I think it's three rows. It's three rows of four. Uh, so top left hand corner is the first quad of the month and so on uh, until you get to quad 12. Okay, so that way you have a frame of reference and I'll put that picture up as it makes sense throughout the video so that you can kind of see where we're at. Okay, as I said, I'm going from least favorite to most favored uh, for 2020. Now in this case, we have this one, which is number 12, and I put the numbers on the front. And it is number 12, not because of all of the shadows in here. I actually really did not like this one. I felt like this shadow here, which is Vintage by Colored Rain, either I used it incorrectly for my color preferences or it's not a great shade itself. It's almost like between a terracotta and a copper. And I'm not big on terracotta colors. And I really did not like the color, the, the end result on my eye, and, and it really kind of affected my enjoyment of the quad. I have to say that these two right here, I thought were, were beautiful. This is um, Aja from the Juvia's Place Magic Palette, and then this one is Roundhouse by Colored Rain. That is a nice combo. This is a nice combo. I just don't like this color, and it really had an effect on my enjoyment of the quad. And I did 
try it on the uh, inner to center or two thirds of the lid. And I think that that for my preferences was, was a mistake and it, it affected my ability to enjoy the quad. The second quad is not in one of the Anastasia um, containers. It's actually in Urban Decay packaging. And I, I'm a little annoyed to have put this quad in because it doesn't fit with the other ones. So it was kind of an oddball quad. Now I don't mind these eyeshadows at all, but I do feel like I would have preferred to have a, a matte or two in a quad like this. I think that they were fine. I did a couple of looks that were fine, but I think that each one of these could have been a statement color all on its own. Um, this one is beautiful all on its own as a statement color as are these two. And this one is nice, it's quite nice in the crease or on the brow bone or center to, or inner to center lid. But I really wanted to pair these with mattes and I regretted putting these all together in one quad. I don't think that that was um, a smart thing to do. And so that's why it's quad uh, number 11 out of 12 as far as favorites. And I like Urban Decay shadows. I have no problems using them. I just made a very poor selection. And I have over 30 of them, more than that, almost 40 of them. I obviously like Urban Decay singles. It's just, yeah, my decision making when it came to putting this quad together was, was flawed for that month. Yeah. Coming in at number 10, I am going to say it wasn't the eyeshadows. I think that it's what I chose, how I chose to pair them together. And I do think that I was thinking these two as one look and these two as another look. But to me, that was just too basic. And again, a brown that's more, it's not terracotta, but it's, it's a lighter brown than I like. I'm more into either beigey browns or chocolate browns. And so this was not a favorite color of mine, but I do see how I thought that these two would go well together. This, these two are Luxie Beauty Shadows. And then this one down here is from the 39A of Cat Eye. And the Luxie Beauty Shadows are absolutely beautiful. Um, but I did not do it justice with what I paired it with. I mean, look at, look at that shadow, right? Luxie Beauty is amazing and they are very inexpensive. So I, this one was a bust. I was not huge on this color either for some reason. I, and I usually do like it. I just, I was really off the mark with that. And I think that that's not, not so much a reflection of, you know, I didn't spend enough time on it. I don't think that that's necessarily what the issue was. Sometimes you think you make a good match and it's only through making use of your decisions that you realize that you're off the mark. And so the thing with quad of the month is I decide on the quad before I do eye looks. Well, it's only once I've done the eye looks that I kind of go, yeah, that was not exactly as good as it could have been. Yeah, I think that that's all I have to say. Uh, it was disappointing and it was disappointing, especially because I had a couple of really amazing shadows in here and I don't feel that I leverage them appropriately. Next up is a palette that I loved and hated at the same time. <laughs> so we have a few interesting ones. We have uh, Iman from Juvia's Place. We have the 39S uh, Pink Prize. And that's from Morphe. We have the Make It Rain from the 39S as well. And then the Cheers to the Beauty Black Butterfly uh, color. Now this one was absolutely beautiful. I did a beautiful smoky eye with this color and it's almost like a one eyeshadow look, one and done, and it's it's absolutely beautiful. It's a purpley blue with a black base and it shifts blue to purple. It's just so beautiful. And when I did the, that smoky eye, which was the last look I did with this palette, I just thought, oh, yes. Uh, and so when I do think of a deep smoky eye, that is 
an automatic eyeshadow that comes to mind and thank goodness for having done this quad because I would not have fallen in love with this uh, eyeshadow and this one was great on the on the brow bone to complement this one it's just a very very neat um, icy whitish blue so you can see how those two would go well together I think and that was pretty much it for this quad. I was not a big fan of this pairing uh, from the 39S, so that's that's too bad. But the two indie colors, wow, beautiful, just a beautiful pairing. And also, I should mention, at least in the viewfinder, it looks kind of royal blue, but it is a definite purple. So I don't know if you can see it as purple um, on the video. Anyway. Um, so disappointing for the 39S colors, but beautiful for the Juvia's Place and Colored Rain uh, shadows. I, I will definitely remember that smoky eye for a long time. And I'm sure <laughs> I want to recreate it from time to time. In eighth place, we are a third of the way through. This quad, I really liked. I liked, I liked the color story more than I liked what I did with it, if that makes any sense. And it's mostly because of these two colors right here. So we've got uh, Pink of Me, Leafing So Soon, Nostalgic, and Curfew. And these are from Makeup Geek. And I really do like them. Um, this was a neat combination. I love green and purple together. And then this gave me a very nice and soft look. They, they, they were fine. They were fine. Um, but I have to admit, I like looking at the color story more than I like the eye looks I came up with. And, and looking at it now, I want to try a couple more combinations, which is kind of funny. Um, I, I kind of want to try this combo um, <laughs> as well and, and frankly I think that these two just on their own would look good as well so anyway I again really love the color story not sure that I made the most of it though and so you can have a great color story but if it doesn't really suit you whether it's your mood at the time or your skin tone or whatever it's it's just a, it's just a bit of a miss so yeah that that's why it's in position number eight so we're almost halfway through here now this one um, I really quite liked especially because of where the shadows come from so we have bubblegum savage these two are Luxie beauty forgotten secrets which is from touch of glam so Touch of Glam Beauty. And then this one is Nubian 12, the 12th uh, shadow in the Nubian palette from Juvia's Place. These were all beautiful. And this was really just an anchor color. And this is really what made the quad. And I, I don't quite know why it was so low. And the only thing I can think of is that maybe I should have had this one as a deep, deep gray or a black instead of a brown. I think that that had an impact on me wanting to use uh, this quad. But I have to say, the Touch of Glam shadow, it really had my heart. It is such a beautiful single just such a beautiful single what's it called again forbidden secrets and it's just it's so so nice uh, and then the other one savage from luxie beauty is also quite beautiful in its own right so i love the shadows uh they just did not knock my socks off and again i think it might have been because of the brown my bad on that one maybe even a, a navy blue would have looked pretty good in this quad. Lesson learned. Now we are in the top half where I ended up executing a quad with some very similar colors to what you've seen recently in the ones I just showed you, 
but I really did a much better job of selecting the colors for this one. And it is the quad, the sixth um, quad out of 12, and it has a bunch of Juvia's Place shadows. So the two up top, this one is from the Magic palette, it's Faso. This one is from the Saharan uh, called Fula. Uh, this one is again from the Magic, it's Ify. And then finally, this one is from Cheers to the Beauty, and it is called um, Raise a Glass. And I really enjoyed this combination. The two mattes and two shimmers, I do really appreciate having half and half. But I did pick, I picked colors from uh, Juvia's Place that are so easy to work with. And this combination was an obvious choice. And then of course, these two went really well together. It, it made it a pretty easy quad to go for, even though I didn't feel like I could really go from here to grab some more colors here. It was really just a two look palette in, in my opinion. I wouldn't have really been all that interested in just pairing these two. So yeah, I think this was meant to just create two looks, which is fine. Now, number five is actually the palette I'm wearing on my eyes today, and it is a Christmassy vibe palette. And I really, really like it. There is Soul from Cleona Cosmetics along with Treeline. There is Butter from uh, the Jaclyn Hill palette. And uh, that was the original from uh, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe, the, the white one. And then this is Rust from Cheers to the Beauty. I did mention these at the very beginning of the video, I realized, but I just wanted to make sure that I was not um, skipping it if you didn't see the beginning of the video. I really, really like it. Um, the first look that I did with it, I had Treeline on the inner lid, and this time it's on the outer lid. Uh, first time I had the red on the outer lid and crease, and then this, I, I felt that that went really well together. That was the main color in the crease before these two, and this one was on the brow bone. Well, this time this one is also on the brow bone sole, and uh, also on the inner to half to two thirds of the lid and I really like how it brightens up the inner lid. But I will say that the previous look, I think I liked more because there was more red in the crease. This one, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's a softer look, but out of the two, I liked the first look better. But I, uh, I do like this combination. It's very Christmassy, both in colors and in offering up kind of a, a blingy, kind of a look. It, I feel like this one was a really well executed uh, set of four colors for my preferences for uh, the month of December. Now we're in the top four. So in fourth place is this one, which I was really excited about because it had some very interesting colors. So I have this one, which is Cleopatra's Crown, and that is from Oh, uh, Touch of Glam Beauty, Cleopatra's Crown, Bramble from Cleona Cosmetics, which is a beautiful matte for the crease, Taboo from Makeup Geek, which is that this color is everything. It is almost a black and it deepens eye looks so, so well. Uh, and then here, this one is a perfect name for this one. It's called Sneeze Me Pink, again from Touch of Glam Beauty and definitely a color shifting uh, shadow. So these two were great. Uh, these were great. I, I had no problem pairing these and, and a deep purple and a green or a, a yellow always go well together. And of course this was a, ma a match uh, made in heaven. I'm big on greens, yellows and purples. So this one, this palette had a quad had my heart from the get-go. So it's not surprising to me that it's in fourth place overall. Only three more to go, and this one I have affectionately named the Christmas Lights Quad, just because of some comments I received after doing some looks with it. Now I have a few things that are obvious here. A blue with a brown, a deep brown like that, it's a, 
it's that's a match that an automatic match it always looks really good as a combination but I really did uh, quite a bit with this quad in that I did manage to use all four of these eyeshadows in a look and it was kind of interesting it was green on the inner to center lid red on the outer lid and then this one as um, a pop of color on the center lid and I think it turned out really nicely and some folks were thinking when I did the first look I'll put that video right here some folks thought that I was going to make a mess of it and I didn't know what was going to happen either I'm not going to say I had a crystal ball but this um, screwball color from uh, um, Luxie Beauty is it's delightful it's a shifting color so it's pink or blue depending on how you look at it and Electric Venom is yellow to green, depending how you look at it. So there's a lot to these shadows, and when you put all of them on the eye, they have such a striking um, final look when, when paired together that was really impressive. And I'm quite happy to have had Carbon from Makeup Geek to kind of balance it out as a very good anchor color uh, to kind of establish the structure of the look uh, for these very vibrant and bold colors. It's, it's one of my favorite quads because of how unexpected the looks were and the amount of reaction actually that I got from, from this quad. It was, it, I think it was gutsy of me to do that and delightful at the same time. And it just reinforced for me how much I love Luxie Beauty shadows. Again, they're inexpensive and they are quite impactful. Now this is a mug quad and what I mean by that is it's all Makeup Geek shadows and it's one of my more memorable uh, quads for this year and that's why it's in spot number two. And it's... <sighs> It's impactful in part because I remember one specific look, which was using Inner Peace and Voltage. Voltage is a beautiful color, and it makes me think of my friend Steph as well because she has this one, um, I believe. Yeah, she has this one. I, I know she does because we, we've talked about it. And Inner Peace, this was such an intriguing look. And one that I was not as big on was with Surf's Up and um, Stardust, I think it's called. They were, they were fine, but the, the impact of these two was so significant that that's really all I want to remember from this quad. It was just, it's just a match made in heaven. And, and these other two just, I think they just got overshadowed. Overshadowed? Hmm. Uh, by by voltage and inner peace. They're just they're just gorgeous eyeshadows, and the pairing, though unexpected, how beautiful it was is. It stole the show for this quad, and I mean it ended up putting this quad in second place. So, pretty impactful look. Now this quad is mostly from the Dare to Create 39A from Morphe except for one color or one shadow that is an Annabelle shadow, which is this one. So these other three are from the Dare to Create. And the Dare to Create color story is a, a color story from Morphe that really drew me to the palette. Even though it was 39 eyeshadows, there were a number of shadows that were really calling to me and one part was the green section and the, the red section. And so these are not a surprise to me at all. Uh, Fickle, Inspire, this is an Annabelle shadow which I just used to balance up the quad and this one's called Trendy. Well you've heard already from me that I like purples and greens, well burgundies and greens is the same thing. It's the kind of like a deep plummy purpley option with a, a green option it just, to me, it's, it's an easy way to make a look, and I think it has to do possibly with my green eyes, I'm not sure. But I had no issues 
pairing the green shadows with this purple guy over here. And this was almost like my, my safe color if I needed to do more to blend it out or build up the, the crease. But when it comes to crease colors, I am very drawn to this one. I just think that this quad, I could use any one of these colors and do a look. And then I can choose to take one of these colors and go with another one, and another one, and another one. I could easily make a look with all four. So to me, I look at it and I, I don't feel any limitations. And I, to me, it's more of a, ah, what, uh, what, what look do I want to do today? I could do all mattes, I could do all shimmers. Um, well, all shimmers. This one has slight shimmer, I think, for blending. This would be the, the only shimmer combo, but I think that might be a little bit of a stretch. I could just do a look with, with just this uh, green smoked out. It just, for my style and my preferences, this is a great, great quad. Um, I don't see why I would make a, a change. The only thing that it, it might be missing is a shadow light enough to do inner corner or brow bone. So all I need is a, a light shimmery beige and I have everything I need for multiple, multiple looks. So the color story on this one is, it, it just, it won my heart. Um, and it might sound a little bit weird based on the colors that I um, selected, but it it's almost like it is what it is. Let me just swatch it for you because I know that these are not the colors that people would tend to go for. It's hard. It's just hard for me to describe, but do you, do you see how this could easy, easily be a look? These two, these two, these two, like they all work together. They're just so neat. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like I can't explain it properly. It's just that it's colorful, but I could get away with it in pretty much any circumstance. Um, so I get my colorful look, but I'm still appropriate for just about any occasion. Um, yeah, and they just, it's just a neat combo, in my opinion. And really, it's a number of the quads in these 12 quads for this year are indicative of this. I mean, I don't think that I would expect a palette to have a quad like this. I wouldn't expect a palette to have a quad like this, but this was one of my favorite ones this year. I definitely would not expect a quad looking like this. And yeah, that's it. I mean, in looking at the rest of my quads, I have some that are more conventional and they're just kind of a pretty color story. But the ability to bring in shadows that you just wouldn't really see in a palette, maybe in a Juvia's Place palette because their, their color stories are wacky almost every time. <laughs> Though the six pans and the quads they came up with recently seem to have, are pretty cohesive. But when I look at the Magic palette, for example, or the Masquerade palette, well, no, Masquerade is more organized, but definitely the, the Magic palette, huh? <laughs> the the Deuce palette, what? Um, the Festival palette, um, there are a few more, the, the Zulu palette, I mean, there are some color stories in Juvia's Place that are really quite wild, so maybe Juvia's Place is, gets a pass. But most of the time, there are some very straightforward color stories, and to play with this quad, with this style of putting a quad together every month, I just feel like I get to explore combinations that I don't think that I would otherwise tackle at all. I have officially started being rambly. I will stop it right here. I appreciate you taking a look down memory lane for 2020 quads or quads of the month for 2020. Please let me know what your favorite quad or quads uh, was, were. I would love to hear the color combinations that you enjoyed this year. And I would also love to hear if you have requests for some color combinations for 2021.
There are going to be another 12 quads for the coming year. So if you have some preferences, some desires, some requests, fill in the blank, then let me know and I would love to at least entertain the idea. That's it from me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it every single time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Thank you.